Okay, we are back. It has been an hour. Look at how pretty that is. And how almost on top of the bowl this has risen. So I'm going to kind of gently pour it onto this board. And this is a lot of dough. So pretty. And this is what I normally do. I cut it in half. You know, some people weigh their bread out, you know, to make sure that all of the rolls are pretty much the way the same. But I like when they're a little different, and my kids like it because they can pick over which one they want. They want a big one, they want a little one, they can pick that and separate it into. Now, I'm going to make some small ones. So I'll end up making 32. So each one of these has to be cut into eight parts. And I'll do the first eight and then I'll pause it and then I'll come back when I'm done with all of them. So I just keep splitting it. And I'm eyeballing it as you can see. So I want to get more sticky back. They were two days ago. So I will put just a little bit of flour on my hands for the rolling. I will preheat my oven to 375. I've already prepared my pan. I rubbed some butter on the pan. You can spray your pan, but I did butter. again for about 25 to 30 minutes and so I'll pop up a little bit more. Okay, that one was a little sticky. Dinner, these are also good for dessert. That's how versatile these rolls are. So just let me get these rolled out and then I'll be back. Okay, I have mo most of them rolled out and I've even snipped the top with my kitchen shears a little bit. And I just want to show you that you can also start rolling them on the board. You can also just roll it into a ball in the palm of your hands like that and then just put it on there snip the top snip it once and twice in the other direction and now i'm going to cover these up with my linen towel for at least 20 25 minutes and then we'll put them in the oven 